Hello there. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about using GPU light mass in um, in games, in Android actually. <laughs> in games, you can easily use them in games. But when you want to use them in games or uh, in Android ES 3.1, and if you want to actually see them in your phone, most of the times it just doesn't work. That's because of some things, mostly many things that are so you have to go to the project settings, edit project settings, and then type in ray tracing. It's already off for me because I wanted to show you that if it's or if even if it's already off, if you're working on a server and you want to create, um, you want to build the whole uh, lighting thing, and you don't want others to be in trouble using ray tracing, or you want the project to be lighter for them. They can easily go ahead in the project settings and ten, turn ray tracing off for themselves or you can submit the file that uh, ray tracing is off in it so but if you want to use the gpu light mass it only works with the ray tracing on so you just go ahead and uh, set check this one out after that you go to the windows and make sure that this one's set to DirectX 12 again if you don't want others to be in trouble, just set this to DirectX 11 because you're not using DirectX 12. You're not developing this game for PC or for consoles. It's just an Android or iOS game, so it's not really that important. After that, come here, type in virtual texture. Um, so the light map that you're seeing here is baked using GPU light mass without using any kind of virtual texture support. So the virtual texture is actually being used if you want to see the light mass being baked in real time and see if there's something else that you could change and uh, make the scene look better. But if you don't want that, you don't really need to use a virtual texture support. But if you do need that, make sure that if you're checking this one out, make sure you don't use enable visual, te visual texture light maps. This one's really important. This one doesn't work. I mean, it works on some mobiles, some pretty, pretty high-end devices, but on most devices, this one doesn't work. And I'm pretty sure of that. But my basic advice is that just don't touch this one. Go ahead and use the GPU light mask without this one. It's already so fast anyway, and you won't really... It doesn't look really high quality, does it? But it is what you'll get in mobile devices. If you want to go even higher than this, the light map themselves are going to be much, much bigger than this. Look how sizable this is. It's already 5 megabytes. How large you want to go you can't really go past this point this is like the this is like too much for a mobile game but anyway um you're not using virtual texture support you're not using show progress bar nothing you can just go ahead and build lighting there's one more thing that i want to point out is that this one right here R dot ray tracing dot force all ray tracing effects zero. This one's important, really, really important. Uh, if you don't set this one to zero, it's not gonna probably work. Um, even if you're not using the previewer of ES 3.1, it's not gonna work. Even if you want to package the game and play it on your phone, it doesn't work. I don't know why. I have no idea, but it doesn't work. You need to make it uh, set this one to zero. Then it works. Um, you can just go ahead and do it inside the default engine that I and I. Let me show you. You just go ahead and config file and default engine right there. You can just edit and go to the rendering. Yeah, these are all rendering. And you can just add it somewhere here, probably here. R dot ray tracing dot force all force all ray tracing effects to zero. 
all ray tracing effects to zero you can, or you can just copy this one out and paste it here that's it and save mm, you're good, good to go and that was pretty much it there's nothing else i want to point out except have fun with gpu light mass it's fast it's incredible and don't use it on foliage don't don't you ever use any kind of light mass on foliage foliage doesn't work with light maps i mean it works but it's going to be really heavy don't use it like that um and if it if this video was helpful please hit that like button if it wasn't helpful please tell me why it wasn't helpful but anyway have a great day bye